Now you just can't help but love our next guest. By day, you'll find her sitting with the loose women. By night, she returns to where it all began, stand up. Yeah, now Judy Love is heading back on the stage, bringing her comedy tour to a town near you very soon. Before we talk to her, she's a little bit nervous. I'm amazed you're a bit I'm nervous. Always, I do Don't be nervous. The, I just, I'm with you guys. And I've got to say, I'm sorry, Josie, I mean, <laughs> you are looking fabulous, yeah? You're not a snack, OK? This is a whole meal, free course. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Just and don't dessert. come to South London. You will not leave. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. And dessert. And dessert. And dessert, right. girl. And dessert. <laughs> All right, well, look, before we delve deeper into that situation, have a look at this. Yeah, go on, then. You know, strictly the curse. You know, you're going to end up having an affair or meeting someone and falling in love and running away. And I was like, sign me up! <laughs> and then the other day, the other day, I was, um at the lady doctors. As he was there, you know, he said to me, oh, great American smooth. <laughs> I said to him, oh my gosh, babes, you know what? I went to a new girl called Lucinda in Streatham. <laughs> like, I could pass on her details for your missus, if you like. He said to me, no, 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 I mean your American smooth on Strictly. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thanks, man. Your first ever solo tour. I know. I mean, I still pinch myself because I remember the days where I used to think about touring or, you know, imagine even doing stand up. And now, like, traveling across the UK, it's just unbelievable to me. I've just, I've done like half of the leg, you know, the summer tour around 18 days. So to be back on it in September, it's just fabulous. I, I'm like, you say you're nervous sitting here for a wee chat with a couple of pals. Yeah! I mean, it must terrify you getting on a stage. You know what? Oh, it does. There was times when I first started doing stand-up, I literally couldn't speak to anyone for, like, three days to just keep my nerves... Beforehand. Yeah, I'd right. turn my phone off. Like, don't, don't call me. Not grumpy, but just don't call me. Right. Don't turn up at the house. No-one ain't cooking for you right now, OK? <laughs> I've got a show, and I'm on it on for five minutes, and I'd be nervous. And now I still get that excitement and that nerves, and I usually, within that last hour, I'm quite quiet. Uh, and that last 10 minutes before going on stage, I just have to get everybody out of the room and let me just have a moment by myself. You know, then I, you know, just get out of us together and we get on the stage. Do you have a little routine? Do you, like, you know, do something, yeah, a little prayer I, a or something? a little prayer. I do a little prayer because, you know what, Aww. the nerves is there, but the nerves is from... I want, I want people to just feel that love and that laughter, whatever they're carrying on their shoulders, that when they come in, you know, they get to laugh it away. And that's what it's more about. And I think when I step onto the stage, the nerves go to side and, you know, my Sasha Fierce comes out <laughs> because I want the people to enjoy it. I want them to have that freedom to just express joy. Do you know what, Judy Love, there's not many people that make me absolutely <laughs> belly laugh, but you are one of them. And I want to thank you because you totally got me through lockdown. Your oh, videos you. were amazing but this tour yeah. it is quite personal to you what can yeah. people expect when they come and see it i mean you're definitely going to come and be like oh she's not like this on loose women <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like you get to see a lot more about me um you know i'm a mom i'm a single mom um about transitions in different stages of life you know being a young child teenager learning about becoming a woman um, a black British woman, a black woman in the UK, um, and being a parent and obviously mm. dating. Oh. Yeah, something that we can all relate yeah. to, whether you're in a relationship or trying to get into a relationship. You'll hear my stories. Um, and it's just a relatable show for people to just connect with. I, I have something really relatable with you. Yes? Yeah, because I, I went to college in the Elephant and Castle. Oh. <laughs> that roundabout. <laughs> with the LCP there, right? But that roundabout... You have a very good take that's taken away some of the fear and pain from me about that roundabout. Can we have a wee look at it? Yes, you can. Yeah, have a look at this. Wow. <laughs> Who the hell invented and designed Elephant and Castle's roundabout? I was lost for about 20 minutes. I was going round and round, ring a ring of roses, pocket full of poses. I tish you, I tish you, me damn rass lost. I was in South London and at one stage I felt like I was in East. That's the kind of roundabout that you bring your Bible with you. God. It's terrifying. That roundabout, oh. and do you know what? I could tell you something which was really <laughs> crazy. I went to an event in South London one time, <laughs> and this is when the video had gone viral, and this gentleman came up to me and goes to me, oh, I saw your video on the roundabout. It was really great. I said, thanks. He was like, yeah, I was one of the designers. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> 
just can't get a juice, boo boo. Hold on, I'll be back no. in a minute. Oh. <laughs> it's terrifying. It is a lot. I, or else what's scarier used to be running under the little subways underneath. Mm. Yeah, which yeah. Which get lost yeah, in all the yeah. time, yeah. But, but that was one of the, you know, one of my one of my many viral videos before. And that video is what we're loose women. Um, the amazing Sally and Tom, um, you know, saw me and was like, yeah, I think we'd love to have her on and interview her and then becoming a panellist. So as much as I see that video now and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it takes me back, it, it brings so much joy and it's a heartfelt moment that someone watched that, like Sally and Tom, and said, yeah, you know, we connect, we want other people to experience her. It's beautiful. Well, people connect with you, Judy, because you're so real. And <laughs> you've done some re pretty real jobs mm, in the past. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you've worked with um, uh, mental health, yes, people with mental health. Yeah. And there is a, a situation that you had and you really made him laugh. Can yeah. you talk us through that? Because you know, it's, it's those little things, isn't it? It take is. You on and to... It's, you know, I, I qualified as a social worker. I did my master's in social work and I worked worked in mental health and there was a particular time I was doing some training in a mental health re rehabilitation um, home, residential home, and it was people with real high psychosis, you know, really serious psychosis. And there was a day that um, I was cooking and, you know, there was at least around 12, 12 residents and we was laughing and I was making joke and I was just, just being me and one of the gentlemen, we was all laughing. I remember standing there and watching everybody laugh and just taking it in. And then one of the gentlemen, it, it, it makes me emotional today, one of the gentlemen just turned to me and said, like, thank you for a moment, I just forgot about my psychosis. And to me, I was like, mm. That's, that's all you could think about. That's all you could think that in a moment someone could forget about something or they could just feel that moment of joy. And that is definitely one of the things that kind of pushed me into saying, you know what, let me just try. Let me try, you know? It should be escapism. Go yeah. to comedy shows. Yeah, you? I think laughter is healing. Yeah. I've been through a lot of adversities in life, like many, and one of the things that I see the pattern that has got me through was laughing, you know, mm. just finding that place where you could just drop your shoulders, release and connect with people. How much of a laugh is Loose Women and the gang there? Well, yeah. I'm, glad you, I, I'm glad you backed it up with the word the gang, OK? Yeah. Yeah. Loose Women are a ball. I absolutely love all of them. And do you know what? I say to everybody, the beauty about Loose Women is I've got, like, 20 women to my hand that I could get advice, whether it's from a health stand, whether it's from parenting, financial. I'm so blessed with having these talented women around me. And then we're now taking it on tour. I, You've got two tours going on. We have got two tours going on. Well, I've got my one, like, Judy Love tour, but Loose Women are going live on, my work. on tour in September. I'm in the Cardiff and Birmingham one. And, I mean, listen, it's going to be a ball. Loose, let loose. I mean, let's call it Loose, Loose, loose Women. Loose, loose. Okay. Yeah. We're about to get loose, loose. And it's, it's really exciting <laughs> because doing live shows is where you really get to connect. But being in front of, you know, in a theatre with hundreds of women um, and men and they just being connected and them seeing us live, it's going to be outstanding. I cannot wait for I that. Can't wait I either. cannot So you're just going to tour the country, cities, yeah. towns? That's yeah, up. I mean, yeah. Loose Women, I think they're doing the whole of September. Um, I'm going to be on, I think, the first one in Birmingham and Cardiff. You've got a mix of the women. They're, I mean, any show that you go to, you're going to enjoy. If you enjoy Loose Women, this is on another level because it's live, it's in a theatre. I mean, there's a little bit of wine. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's going to be extra nice. And not on telly, so you can say whatever you want. We can say what we Bold want. as you like. And I get to spend time with some of the women that I love the most. And it's like a girls' trip, and everyone can come with us. So I'm really excited for that. That's Judy, good. I'm so proud of you. I'm oh, so babes. proud of you. you know, you've worked really, really hard. You know that. You've worked so hard. You all hard. have, yeah. It's, it's one of those moments where you're just like, you know, this is where it is. And, and that's why I always say, even in my show, in my One Like Judy Love tour, it's, it's about taking those chances yeah. sometime, you know? If I never said to myself, OK, I don't feel like this is the place I'm supposed to be, I feel like there's something else, and just take that risk, then I wouldn't be here with you, amazing You've done people. it. You've done it. Keep yeah. making a smile, yeah. will you? Yeah. Will. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank snack. You. A whole snack. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> snack? Yeah. Oh. It's a, it's she calls a me a snack. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm.